<laughs> He's frantic. Do you know how tired I'm going to be when I feed you at night, little baby? Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer. My pronouns are they, them, and I'm a teen with a passion for animal rescue and, in particular, kitten rescue. So today's video is super exciting because I'm getting new bottle babies, yes! So I am going to be getting five little, uh, around 10 day old babies from the information that I know so far. So they were found in a town a couple hours away from here near a like factory auto repair shop type thing. I'm not exactly sure, but they were found somewhere around there and they don't have a mom that is available to feed them. So I am going to be bottle feeding them. They seem to have had a mom in the past recently, but they cannot find her. So that is the situation for now. This is the picture I have of them so far. I do not have them yet. I will have them in like an hour. They were in a town a couple hours away and by a stroke of luck, my mom happened to be going there for work today. She travels all around the state and she just happened to be going there, which was really lucky for us so that someone else didn't have to transport them. She was already going there. <laughs> So she picked them up and she is on the way here now. She's had them for a while, but she's on her way home. And even though there's an hour, I'm gonna go ahead and set up their area. I've got my incubator. I will be the first one in the rescue I work with to see them. Usually our rescue director kind of does initial intake and then sends them off to foster. But the way it worked out this time, since my mom was picking them up, I'm gonna do intake. So I'll show you how I will assess them when I get them, all the things I'm gonna do. And I may or may not have to put um, liquid lipstick on a couple of the guys ears so I can tell them apart because I just showed you the picture that I had All I know right now there are three gray ones two gray and whites and I think the gray ones look pretty similar I'm sure I'll be able to tell them apart eventually, but for the first few days a couple weeks I might need some help so we will do that if needed. But yes, I have been rambling off your ears so much, but it's what I do around here So you're probably used to it now. I'm gonna go and set up the incubator Actually, first we're gonna say hi to Oliver. Hi, Bubby. Hi. He's gonna be going home in just a few days, but for now, he's right here and he's looking the cutest thing ever. Hi. Oh, you gonna bite me? That's not very gentlemanly. We're also going to say hi to Smee. Hi, Smee. I love you, Bubby. This is the incubator right now. It's got nothing in it yet. It is also not on, but I'm going to turn it on now. Love that sound of the power up. I put the temperature on about 85 degrees to start. You can see it's 70 now and it'll heat up. And I will put the humidity on at 60. And I'm gonna grab some blankets. For these babies, I'm just gonna put a really cushy blanket in here. I'm going to be putting this snuggle kitty in with the babies. It's a stuffed animal that has a heartbeat, an artificial one that comforts little orphans. So you hold it down for a bit, it starts a heartbeat. I'm gonna snuggle this in here. And this will give the babies a bit of comfort. When they get kind of starting to outgrow the incubator, I'll probably have to take that out, but there'll be five of them, so they should be able to be pretty comforted by each other. But that is all I need in their incubator. I know it's not a lot, but that's all they need. So I'm just gonna close it and let it get to the right degrees for temperature and the right percentage for humidity. I do have some other things to get ready for to set up. So I have my notebook here that I'm gonna use for weights. I have got tissues for stimulation, Huggies baby wipes for kind of just cleaning them up whenever they need to. I got a new kitchen scale for this litter. A couple of our kitten scales have vanished. They either broke or had to be thrown away for one reason or another. So we have this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and just, is there no batteries in this? There might not be batteries in this. Okay, let's try this again. There we go, I put batteries in it. And it's already on grams. This will be how I weigh them. Kitchen scale, put a nice little soft blanket in there so it's not as cold and annoying to them as I rip them out of their home to make sure they're healthy. Okay, so I've just made a very rough, informal kitten intake sheet. This is not the place I really keep actual medical information. This is just where I keep weights. This is the weight notebook. 
But since I'm doing intake, I thought I would write some information in here. The rescue I work with does have these handy dandy checklists that all fosters fill out for each of their kittens that states other medicines they get usually after when they're really, really tiny. So that's like dewormer, vaccines when they get fixed, other medications, stuff like that. I will fill this out, one, once I've named them, and I will fill it out as they start getting their dewormer and stuff. I'm gonna describe them because I do think they're gonna look pretty similar. I also wrote that they're getting Pingy, which is an injectable form of penicillin for three days. That's what my rescue likes to do for young kittens. This is not giving medical advice. This is just stating the procedure for my personal rescue. Of course, talk to your vet before giving any medication to your kittens. I'm also just gonna put their intake weights here, and then hopefully by the time I do their next weights, I can write their names at the top of that page. I do have several ideas for name themes, but I'm not gonna share them until I've figured out what name theme I'm gonna go with. One little surprise that way. One of the name themes does require certain genders because it's named after a TV show. So we'll see if I can do that theme. I, it's the right number of kittens and I've been wanting to do it for a really long time, but luck has it, it probably won't be that. And if it's not, I'll go with a different theme that I have not decided yet. I have a vague idea, but have not decided yet. So we'll see if it works out. Although I do hope it does, but who knows? I'm not very lucky most of the time. But now I am on Smee Man. My mom should be here in about 30 minutes, little less. And so I will show you the intake process when I get the kittens. See you guys in a bit. I have bubbies. So I've checked, there are three boys, two girls. I will announce their name theme in just a bit because that does work for the genders for the theme that I wanted to do. But first, these guys are actually hungry. I need to feed them. They were just screaming their heads off and they stopped in the little bit that it took to go get my formula. But I have a feeling they're gonna be hungry. So let's get one. Hi. Oh my goodness! So you can tell these little babies are active. I'm gonna start and see if they'll latch onto a bottle. If they won't, I'll get a syringe and do it that way instead. But let's see. Hi. Oh, look at that, you latched. Good baby. Oh, that's what I like to see. So these babies are about one week old. I can tell this because they have not opened their eyes yet. One of them still has their umbilical cord, but all of the others have fallen off. And based on their size, I do think that one baby is just a little behind on losing their umbilical cord because babies usually use them at about five days. But they do seem pretty chunky, which is good. So it does seem like a mama was caring for them up until the point that I got them, which is the same thing that the person that found them had told us. Look at that latch, that is awesome. You're, you're kind of making your siblings wait, bubby. These babies are super cute. So there's three all gray ones, two gray and whites. And my dogs are barking upstairs because my siblings just got home, sorry about that. Look at that, that's gonna be a, a good eater. You a good eater? Going to wipe off that milk mustache keep you clean. I'm also going to stimulate them now. I don't remember if this is the boy or the girl. I don't really know them well enough yet to tell them apart just by looking. I don't think I'll have to do liquid lipstick based on I think their fur colorings are different enough to tell them apart, but I'm not sure. I might have to do it on one of their ears to tell two kittens apart if they're hard to tell apart. Okay, so this is the boy I checked and he did pee pretty well, so that's good. Let me grab another baby. Oh yes, I can definitely tell apart the gray and white ones because this one has a bloop on the nose. You got a cute bloop on the nose. And this one is also a girl. You want some food? Here you go. So these babies have been on the bottle for about 24 hours now. I found out that I was gonna take these babies about 24 hours ago, right after they were found. And the person that found them helps get a lot of kittens in the area that they are to the rescue that I work with. And so they do have bottle feeding supplies for temporary short circumstance things, but she's not equipped to feed them long-term. So they have been getting formula already, which is good. So it's not that surprising that they've latched, but I am glad to see it. 
Oh, I need to weigh them too. Forgot to weigh the first baby. After I feed this baby, I'll go back. This one's kind of a slow eater. That's okay though, I'll wait for you. You are gonna be a bit annoying for me overnight, aren't you? You really just sit and take forever, huh? If you see movement back there, Smee is on the floor behind me and he loves kittens, so he's probably wanting to come over here and see what's up. I'm gonna try and keep them away though because I just got these guys. I have no idea about their medical condition and while Smee is vaccinated, you never know. You just wanna be safe. One of your siblings is screaming for food, but I can't feed them until you're finished, but you've been eating for so long. I swear, this has been like four minutes already that I've been feeding you. And it doesn't usually take that long. When Oliver was drinking from a bottle, my nighttime feedings would be a total of five minutes. Like I would get up, go upstairs, warm up the formula, come back downstairs and feed him, stimulate him and be all done in five minutes. And yet you're taking like five minutes just to drink. Do you know how tired I'm going to be when I feed you at night, little baby. It's okay though, I will do it because I love you already. I know you can't hear your siblings screaming up there yet because your hearing isn't good yet, but I do. And I know they want to be fed, but I only have two hands. There we go. She literally did not even eat that much. She ate like a fine amount for a kitten her age. You are the slowest eating kitten I've ever had. Let's potty you. I know, it's not very nice to potty you, but I have to. You can't potty on your own yet. I'm actually going to feed them all and then weigh them. You are loud. So this is an all gray boy. He doesn't even look to have much tabby on him. This isn't a tabby, this is just a full gray one. He's gonna look like a Russian blue when he gets bigger. <laughs> He's frantic. Here, let me, give me a little taste. Here's the food you want. There we go. Third kitten to latch super easily. That's great, let's keep it up. You eat a lot faster from the looks of it, that's good. Can't have a ton of slow eating kittens, otherwise I'll be feeding you all night long. This gray boy reminds me of my other all gray kitten. I don't know if this is the only one I ever had. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I had a kitten named Pegasus that was all gray, like this one. And that's what these all gray ones remind me of, just cause that was the main all gray one that I can think of off the top of my head. And I got him when he was about this size too. He was the only all gray one of his litter though. So the first thing I did is check genders, which actually is not the most important thing to check for, but I just really wanted to see if their genders would match my name theme, and they do, which I'm so excited about. But I knew I wanted to feed them right when I got them, because it had been just a few minutes over their time that they were supposed to be fed, because my mom had to drive a couple hours when she got them. And so I just checked them real quick for cleft palates, which that just means I checked inside their mouths to make sure there were no unnatural gaps in the top of their mouth. And all of their pellets were great, so I knew that I could go ahead and feed them normally through a bottle or syringe, which these guys seem to be latching great, so I don't think I'll need to get a syringe unless one of the others just randomly decides that they won't latch like their siblings. But the three I've fed so far seem to be doing great. One of your siblings is very vocal about not being fed yet, so if you could hurry that up, that'll be great, because I, I, I feel bad listening to him screaming. <laughs> You're drinking it. You're already latched. Why are you so angry? Are you done? Oh, well, you a little chunk. I think you're gonna be one of the chunkier ones out of the litter. Let's wipe off your mustache, which you don't have much. The ones that latch don't have as much of a mustache normally. And by that, I mean milk on their face. Smee is extraordinarily interested in the, the meows. He's just staring over here. Fortunately, he doesn't seem to be coming over, so I don't have to kick him off. Oh, I just realized I'm not in focus. That's great. So this is the one that still has their cord, um, but I expect it'll fall off like literally any day now, like today or tomorrow. And this one is a girl. Can you latch? Just gonna hold her here, try and get her to latch. Sorry, the printer's going off. And there we go. This one also does not look like a tabby. I think she might have like one little lighter patch right under her chin though that I'll be able to distinguish her from the others. At least I'll be able to distinguish her from the other girl that is just gray. I can distinguish her from the boy by their genitals, but when they're the same gender and look the same, it's harder. But I think I'll be able to distinguish her by this like lighter. Can't tell if that's 
I think it's a little tiny white patch. Okay, you are done. You drank a good amount. Okay, wipe off your mustache. Potty time! She's got a really short, stubby tail right now, as they all do. It's really cute. Oh, you do not like going potty. You do not like it. That's okay. You have to do it anyway. Okay, all done. Was that really that bad? I swear, kittens act like you're killing them while they're going potty. You're like, you're just making them go potty. So the odds were not in our favor in that this kitten also has a white patch in the same place as her sister. <laughs> like, what are the odds of that? But she does have a little lighter patch right up here, and she also just has a lighter face in general. Um, will you be quiet when I'm speaking, please? That's a joke, of course. I know she's just a kitten. Um, but I will be able to tell her apart because she has the lighter face. But, like, they literally have the same white patch right here. And one on their belly. But you are cute. I don't know if she's going to be a tabby or not. I don't think so. I think she just has some really nice textured gray fur. So we have three gray ones. All gray ones. Or three mostly gray ones. Like, she's, they've got, like, little tiny patches of white. But I'm still counting them as gray. And then two gray and white ones. Super cute cuties. Oh, and she latched right away too, which is awesome. Ignore my nails, I need to repaint them. She's a very enthusiastic eater too. Look at this little baby, potty time. Oh, you're the first one to poop. Her stool is pretty soft, but she did just switch foods from mama's milk to kitten formula, so that is pretty normal, but I'll definitely keep an eye on that. Look at you, cutie. Okay, so now I'm going to write descriptions of the babies. So I just wrote down little descriptions of all the babies. I'm gonna go weigh them and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just weighed them. I haven't picked out who is who yet, but I wrote their descriptions on the page before numbered, so I weighed them. Um, and match their number to the number on their description for now until I pick who is who. As you can see from these grams, I would say these kittens are definitely on the right track with their weights so far. A rough estimate is that a one week old kitten would be 150 to 250 grams. And so they're definitely right around that range and I do think they're just about one week old. So yeah, I will see you guys in just a bit. I'm gonna call my rescue director, update her, and let my parents meet the kittens because they haven't done that because I've been filming. So yeah, see you in a bit. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Surprise, surprise, you know I'm bad at filming things when it comes to filming different clips. But I totally thought that I like told you guys which kitten was which and introduced the name theme. Um, yesterday, but I did not. But fortunately, this is just gonna be smacked on to the back of the last clip, so it won't be any wait for you as you watch this. And if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you will already know these babies' names because I posted it there first, as I usually do, because YouTube, I only post twice a week. Instagram and TikTok, I try to post more, and it also takes longer to get YouTube videos together. I am very excited to announce, because I've been wanting to do this name theme for so long, that these guys are named after Scooby-Doo characters. So I loved Scooby-Doo when I was little. Like I loved watching that show and so I knew that I just had to do a litter named after Scooby-Doo characters eventually. So I'm going to introduce you to these kittens now officially with their names. They will probably scream. I just fed them, but they still scream. They don't quite like just pets yet. They're too little for that. So they just scream. So this guy is Shaggy. He's a boy, he's gray and white, super cute, and he loves to eat, which is fitting for Shaggy. He like always wants to go back for seconds, thirds, fourths, and every time I think he's done, he's probably not done because he loves food that much. But yes, I'm gonna put him back now. This is Fred. Fred's a boy. He's super sweet, super cute. Say hi to cute little Fred here. This is Velma. She's also loud. She's the one that's the really slow eater. It's okay though. She's super cute. Super good baby. This is Daphne. She is very loud and she has the most distinctive meow out of this group. She's not screaming very loud right now, but trust me, she screams loud. She screams very loud and she's the only one who's still got her umbilical cord, but I expect that'll fall off any day now. Cute little baby. 
And the last baby is Scooby-Doo. Or uh, Scooby for short is probably what I'll be calling her. But she's super pretty. I think she kind of looks pretty unique. She's got some different um, shades of gray on her. Super cute, super pretty baby. And she is definitely very opinionated. And I definitely think the Scooby name fits her very well. Basically all that you missed last night after I stopped filming was just a couple more feedings. I did give them some injectable pin G, um, really tiny, tiny dose. My rescue just does that to make sure kittens are healthy, all that kind of thing. Again, talk to your vet before you give your kittens any type of medicine, stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. They all are doing well with weights they've all gained since I got them, which is amazing. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what other content you want to see with these babies as they grow. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more kitten related content. I upload on Sundays and on Wednesdays if I can, and if I can't, then I upload whenever I'm able to. Also, please make sure to leave any thoughts or questions that you have down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching again, and goodbye!